of recursive cursive projects has been involved in the international contemporary art world since the early 1990s. He formed Cursio Projects in 2001 as an umbrella organization for his various art projects, including curation, exhibition, and artist management, PR and media, writing, art fair consulting, gallery development, and advising collectors. He has curated and or managed well over 30 exhibitions, including Mortality, a survey of contemporary death art with Donald Cuspid, and numerous exhibitions at Lichtelfire recently, including When Night Falls, Reshuffle, and Presence with Priska Yushka. Other recent exhibitions include A Days of Roses at the Zurakit City Org, and Tales of Adjusted Desire at Robert Berry Gallery Online. Kersey was a co-founder and co-producer of the Scope Art Shows and has consulted with the art fairs Asia Contemporary Art Show, Context, Art Southampton, and Pinta, fair, Pinta Art Fair, I must say, to name a few. He has written for Art Accuser, Art Voices, Art News, Cover, Dark International, Sculpture, Teba Celeste, Whitewood Magazine, and Zing Magazines. Originally earning a degree from Tyler School of Art and exhibiting for a few years, as an artist himself until deciding to start making art in the early 1990s while as director of Ward Nasser Gallery in Soho. Many people, I think, remember that. So you just worked for many spaces before you uh, then uh, opened up your only space, right? I mean, <laughs> of course, at Ward Nasser you were in the late 80s, but then your old space was more in the late night? Right. In the midnight. Midnight, yes. Mm -hmm. But you decided to um, open up your own space. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Um, well, my ex business partner was working with this artist who I thought was a very good sculptor. And he just said, Do you want to open up a gallery? Then I was like, Yeah, sure. Why not? I, and then I just <coughs> made the decision that I wasn't going to, uh, I guess, to say it's my uh, Marcel Duchamp uh, move, that I'm not going to make art anymore. Um, but I look at making exhibitions and doing everything as part of an installation and performance. Mm -hmm. So it was almost more ephemeral? Yes. Or it was sort of like, almost like a you know, ephemeral, but also then there was like maybe a, a performance, a performative element, mm -hmm. also within what, what you, made, you mentioned, performance before. Yeah. yeah. So, and then there was 2000. Is that when Scope started 2000, or was it in 2001? The, the first Scope was in uh, 2002. That scope Art Fair right now is a whole different animal. Yes. Scope Art Fair was like, in the beginning, it was like not. I wanted to create a whole different um, scene. We didn't want to create just a marketplace, which is why I, we always mix things up. Mm -hmm. That's why when Nancy Hogman said, oh, I, you know, well, could I possibly participate in this go? I was like, yeah, it was a presentation. <laughs> <laughs>